Hello and welcome to Sega Master System Classics. In this installment, the game is Bram Stoker's Dracula, released in 1993, jointly developed by Probe and Psygnosis, and published by Sony uh, ImageSoft. This game is um, on a whole bunch of different consoles, but this is going to be the, uh, the Master System version of this game. It is a weird action platformer based upon a classic literary horror novel, so... Yeah, uh, let's, let's start, and let's play some of this. So, like I said, it is a platformer. And look at this block. I wonder what that could be from. Well, whatever. Let's just talk about the game itself. So it turns into night all spooky. There's a lot of things in this game I don't get, I can't figure out, it just kind of happens. This game um, was available for the Master System only in Europe, it doesn't have um, a North American counterpart because, of course, by 1993, the Master System was completely dead in North America. I'm not totally sure where I'm going, and there's sort of weird things about this game, like these blocks here. They're not actually solid, I can't jump on them. They're just there, taking up space. So I'm sort of just guessing where I'm supposed to be going. Like generic skeletons as the enemies. Bats. You know, typical, I guess, and yeah, I could blame Castlevania for starting that. Alright. The music here is nothing special, obviously, but the visuals, uh, at least on the Master System version, are not too bad. Um, I do believe that this game is also available for the NES, although I don't have any personal experience as of recording this video of the NES version. So the NES version could be the same game, could be... oh crap. Is there a way to get out of here? I guess. A lot of secrets. So I think this is only a, you know, go from point A to point B um, type of game, so backtracking probably is not necessary. Also, I love how, like, just random action platformers are. <laughs> like, can apply to whatever the subject matter is, like Dracula here, alright, I guess. Probably not what Bram Stoker had in mind, but okay. You know, the Master System color palette um, makes the game look quite good.
Okay, so it's like a boss. Yes. Well, that's kind of neat. I can't tell if I'm doing damage to him. I guess he got me. I guess I'm dead. Alright, let's go down again. Let's try again. I wonder what these rising things are. Oh, they're rocks or something? I can make... I can... Okay, these things damage whatever this is. Okay, so your default blade doesn't do any damage. Not too shabby. While this game isn't nothing amazing, it's not actually as bad as you might think it would be. It's certainly a video game before it is anything to do with the book. I guess time has passed, so that's why the um, color palette has changed to be darker. Neat little effect. Alright, this one will fall. Ah, crap. totally my fault. Ah, that was my fault too. Be a bit more careful. I think that adds to your time. Oh, ah! Frick! They did that just to piss you off. I know you, 90s platformer gamer design. Developers like, yep, we're gonna put that there just to piss off gamers 20 years later. Jump, jump, jump. Ah! Damn it. Well, alright. There's a look at uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula for the um, Sega Master System. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions about this game, you can. Feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Like, oh, they're restored and tie. He's a good, good. Um, did the music for Warlocked and a few other things.
So, like I said, um, you know, this game was uh, imported to a whole bunch of systems, but the Master System version is actually surprisingly decent, except that it's a bit hard, you know, or maybe I'm just, you know, really bad at the game. That's probably more of what it is. And, you know, you can, uh, you can feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. Also, be sure to hit the like button, because hitting the like button helps support my channel. It lets me know that you guys want to see more videos like this. So, like I said, um, thanks for watching, guys. You know, if you have any personal memories of this game, because if you're in Europe or something, and, uh, you know, you played this game when you were a kid, or, you know, you have, uh, this game is a big favorite of yours, you know, let me know, because, uh, you know, this game is basically just, I stumbled upon it, hey, look, that, that game, that looks kind of neat, I guess. Um, so I thought I'd show some of it. Uh, there's that awesome name, Red Fox. <laughs> awesome guy. All right. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time.